We recycle because it's good for the community and you can save and you can save trees. If we recycle all the trash we end up in lakes and oceans all around the world. So we can help the earth and clean up our community. We recycle to help the earth and make the earth a better place. We recycle to use stuff again. We should we recycle because we're reusing and reducing plastic that we would usually go to waste and by recycling we're helping our community and environment. The main reason why we recycle is because so like we can so like the community can like change things and help the things that like we recycle and it's good for like earth and like we can do different things with it as long as we just help. We recycle because because we need to save the trees and have use more paper from instead of the trees so we can breathe. You can recycle soda bottles. You can recycle cans from the can to eat from the food. Recycle paper. You can recycle canned goods, paper, and you can recycle aluminum foil. Awesome. We can we can recycle cardboard boxes. Recycle um, soda cans and water bottles. Plastic bottles, okay? Anything else? You put in the recycling bin? Paper. Paper, right. Paper is a big one, especially in school. Like metal? Metal, yeah, metal cans. Uh, so all of that stuff you can recycle, and in Delaware, you can put it all in one recycling bin. Some states, there's multiple bins, and you have to sort out your recycling all by yourself. You have to put cans in one bin and paper in another, and it kind of gets to be a pain. You'll see this guy moving around here. That's called a front end loader, the orange yellow truck right there. His job is to make it uh, easy for trucks to back in there. And he also takes a scoop of material like he is now. And what he's doing is on the side over there is the first conveyor belt. And it takes all that recycling and moves it into that next building so that it can start to get sorted. So he's got a takes a scoop, dumps it in, and that'll start to kind of smooth out the material and move it into the next building so we can start the sorting process. So we can go through about 32 tons of material per hour. The 32 tons of material we go through in this facility if we're operating very efficiently or no problems or nothing breaks. So we can go through a lot of material a day. This building can hold about 800 tons of material. So you can see it's probably about 500 tons maybe in there currently. All right, so this is the construction waste company. Both of these facilities that you see on our property, they're our partner companies. So they're not our employees, they're just kind of our partner companies and we work with them. Uh, they just kind of sit on our property here. Uh, but this is part of the construction waste company and this is wood. So wood is the biggest, um, there's the largest amount of wood in your construction industry. So think about houses and buildings. What other type of material do they use to make houses and buildings? Bricks. Bricks, wood. right, rubble. Cement, yep. So wood, we have ceiling tiles, there's carpet in there, different types of metal. And all of that stuff is recycled here. Um, but this is the wood. So the wood pile, the workers go through this wood pile by hand. So they have to go through all the wood and make sure nothing has paint on it or treated with any kind of spray because that can't be recycled with the chemicals on it. But any good wood that's natural and nothing on it, there's your pile over here. And that is all gonna get chipped into mulch. You see kind of going on right now. They bring in a wood chipper about once a week and they chip up this wood. And then where do you see mulch, like mulch? Where do we do with mulch? Someone buys it or something. Where do we do with that? Playground. Playground or a park, right? So that's exactly what that mulch is going to be. We have to take it out and we have to run it through a magnet because there's still nails in there. Uh, but it'll ultimately be something we can use outside. So years ago, all of this wood that you see, we would just throw that out. It would just go into the landfill somewhere and just sit there forever. But now with recycling, we're turning it into something that we can use again. 
so that rubble and bricks, we're gonna do the same thing. So about in the springtime, they bring in a concrete crusher and it pulverizes those big pieces of concrete and bricks and stone into smaller pieces and we can use that for another construction project. So we took that from this company and we actually used it at the landfill. So just to, instead of going to get our own material, we just recycled something that was thrown away. So what type of material is found on the roof of a house? Remember what that what? material is called? It's a black type of material. It's called mulch or tire. Nope, not tire. Tire can be used uh, like a mulch sometimes. Something that's on the roof of your house. I want to know the name of that. Tiles. Tiles? Close. It's shingles. So shingles are those black pieces of material that are on a roof. And you can see there's a pile straight over here. We're going to recycle shingles. So there's some trash in there, so they still have to go through and pick out the trash. Um, but that will then be crushed and used for another type of construction project. So those came off the roof of your house. Mm -hmm. Yep. They go through the wood by hand, they go through the shingles. It's kind of a lot of labor goes into this company right here. <laughs> so coming out of that um, machine right there is our broken glass. So when glass gets recycled, we break it on purpose, we crush it, and then it comes out in two different sizes, like a glass dust almost, and then bigger pieces that we're going to recycle. So we'll load that stuff onto a dump truck. We take it to a place in New Jersey and they melt it and they'll just make new glass out of it. So that's the glass crushing system. <coughs> and then this is what all of your material will look like once it's done sorting. So we have that big messy pile in the beginning and you end up with these blocks at the end and that's all ready to go and get recycled. So that gets loaded on the trucks. Some trucks will take it to the destination or other trucks will load it up in sea containers and they'll put them onto big ships and ship them across the world. So like the paper, our paper goes to China and South Korea and India and that's where it's going to get recycled. <laughs> so you can see those bales there. The first one, that's all milk jugs. So we bale all the milk jugs together. And then you have metal cans and different types of plastics. All the water bottles are grouped together. So if you guys look inside those doors, you'll see a little bit of the sorting machines, moving all the material around. It is far, but that's why we use um, ships to carry all that stuff. Recycling is one of the best ways for you to have a positive impact on the world in which we live. Recycling is so important to both the natural environment and us. We must act fast as the amount of waste that we create is increasing all the time. The amount of rubbish we create is constantly increasing because increasing wealth means that people are buying more products and ultimately creating more waste. Increasing population means that there are more people on the planet to create waste. New packaging and technological products are being developed. Much of these products contain materials that are not biodegradable. Recycling is very important as waste has a huge negative impact on the natural environment.
harmful chemicals and greenhouse gases are released from rubbish in landfill sites. Recycling helps to reduce pollution caused by waste. Recycling is essential to cities around the world and to the people living in them. What are you going to collect? Cardboard. Cardboard, okay. What are you going to collect? Cardboard. Cardboard, okay. And what are you going to collect? Oh, here it comes. Right, let's see, you're going to get cardboard? Go. Did you get much cardboard? Yes. How much you got? Okay. Oh man, you got a lot. That's it. Did you get much cardboard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. What were you collecting? Plastic. Oh, did you get much plastic? Ooh, yeah. No space for waste. Our landfills are filling up fast. Preserve natural resources for future generations. Recycling reduces the need for raw materials. It also uses less energy, therefore preserving natural resources for future generations. Making new products out of recycled material reduces the need to consume precious resources. So recycling helps protect raw materials and protect natural habitats for the future.